What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm Tyler and today we have another tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be creating LUTs and color grades inside Premiere Pro for free without any plugins. So let's jump right into this. So for today's video, what I'm gonna assume is if you have Premiere Pro, you're gonna have Photoshop and Lightroom, etc. We will be using Photoshop to create LUTs. So without further ado, let's fire up Premiere Pro and let's get right into this. So now that you have Premiere Pro fired up, we're gonna start a new project. And just label this color grade. I'm just gonna drag in one clip. Grab this clip, drag it onto our timeline. And this clip right here is from a video actually that I did with my friend Maddie, Evo Maddie. If you guys haven't seen this video, it will be a link in the top right corner. You guys can click it. It's a fun video. You guys should watch it. So this is our clip. This is what it looks like. Hey, what's like. up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys the process of getting my bags installed finally on. Okay, so now that we have our timeline in place, what we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer. So you go to the side, click adjustment layer. Okay, we're going to drag this onto our timeline and scale it to the size of our timeline. Usually what I do is I click Alt, create two of these, change the label color on one of these, and I'll use this bottom layer right here to adjust our highlights and contrast to make sure that our shot is properly exposed. This top adjustment layer is what I'll use for the color grade. So to start our color grade, I'm actually not gonna do this in Premiere. So how we do this is we need to export a picture or a screenshot of our clip. So what we do here is we come over to this little photo or this camera icon that says export frame. If you don't have this in the bottom control panel over here, you, you can click the plus button over here and you can find, uh, you can add it. So what we're gonna do is click it, name it. I'm gonna name this Maddie, Evo, and you can choose to save this wherever you'd like. Click okay. Now we're gonna minimize Premiere Pro. This is when we're gonna fire up Photoshop. Now that you have Photoshop opened up, what you're gonna do is go where, to wherever you've saved that screenshot and drag that clip into Photoshop. Now, when we have this clip in Photoshop, the biggest thing that you wanna make sure right away, um, and it should do this automatically, is that your clip is the background. If it says layer zero or something like that, you just wanna go up to layer, Go up to new, background from layer, and you wanna make sure that this is the background. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to this adjustment tab, and you come click, I like to start off with hue and saturation. And this is your master tab over here. You can kind of slide this however you'd like. Don't really wanna slide this too much. Here's where it gets really fun, where you can get into the individual colors. So let's uh, slide our red. We'll just do a quick edit. Yellow's here, I feel like this is too red. Greens. And that's our first layer. Then we're gonna come over here and switch to our color balance. And this is where we're gonna adjust our highlights, midtones, and shadows. And our highlights, I like to usually shift them towards the yellow to make them a little bit more warm. Midtones, just a little bit. That was just a tiny bit. And our shadows, we'll adjust them to like this. Okay, so now this is getting somewhat where I like it. And this is uh, kind of where we started. This is where we ended. I will probably bump up the vibrance and the saturation a little bit. Cool. And I think this is starting to look good for a color grade. Um, obviously this is just a quick edit like we said. Once you adjusted your hue, saturation, the color balance, and whatever else you want to adjust, um, you're gonna come over here to file, export, and your color lookup tables. And you're gonna make sure that all of these are deselected besides cube. Now once this cube file, you can name it whatever you'd like. Save it wherever you like. It's the same thing. And now we're done. We've created a look. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into Premiere, 
Now when you get back into Premiere, you wanna go over to your color tab and you wanna to go to your creative. You don't wanna to go to your color correction or your basic correction. Uh, usually when you put LUTs over your basic correction, they tend to come out a little bit wonky. So you wanna come over to browse and um, wherever you saved your LUT, you wanna come find it, Evo Maddie, open it up, and now you have officially color graded your film. You can toggle this on and off. You can adjust the intensity of what you want it to look like. Adjust the curves. There you go. Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the process of getting my bags installed finally on Sophie. Surprise, yes, I'm getting bags. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what she looks like in the final reveal. So stay tuned for that and uh, let's go. So as you guys can see, this was a quick tutorial on how to color grade your films for free. It's a very quick and effective way to color grade your films and you don't need any excessive or expensive plugins. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.